Yeah, yeah, the view. Yeah, this this was um, the view we played with in in Dundee. Uh, was it Dundee? Yeah, that's where they're from. I think in it is that that is where they're from, right? Uh, yeah, we play with the view in Dundee, um, and it'll be interesting. Maybe you can get their side of this if you ever have them on this program because they seem like the kind of band who would be on here, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. And uh, honestly, like I, they seem like nice lads, but they were just like. They were all like 15, 16 years old or something. Or it seemed that way. Maybe they weren't. But um, they seemed nice enough. But they, they were like, a, it was a four band bill. And I think they were on second. We were headlining. And there was a band on after them as well. But they, they, basically, they, they, we had a dressing room, you know, that had all a rider and all of our stuff in it. And the promoter basically came in and said, don't let the view in your dressing room. Don't let them in. Just don't let them in. Don't let those lads in. They'll fuck it up. They'll steal all your shit. We were like, uh, no one had ever said anything like that to us about a band ever. So we were a bit like weirded out by it. Yeah. And, uh, and then they and then they come in and they seem nice enough and they're just chatting to us. But we're being a bit standoffish because the promoters literally just told us not to let them in. <laughs> so right. we, they eventually, I guess, I guess, get get the messages of us being weirded out by what the promoter said and, and and they're not there and um yeah they, they play their set so they're second on and then uh the main support who i can't remember who it was play and we go on and basically some so, so the view had all these like mates with them like all these 15 16 year old kids like probably about a group of 40 50 of them and the venue was maybe 300 capacity something like that Okay. Uh, of two fifty, and uh, and 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 some they'd broken into the kitchen of this venue somehow. Right. So they had a load of like onions and frozen food and stuff, and they were just lobbing it at the stage, okay. like all all these kids. Um, well, while I you were playing, I, yeah, while we were playing, yeah, and this, this like uh, an entire like raw onion the size of a baby's head just whacked me in the temple <laughs> like like in the, like the second song or whatever. I honestly, and I also I thought it was fucking funny because these. You know, they, they they were they weren't booing. You know, they were sort of being jubilant while throwing shit. Yeah, and, yeah. and you never quite lose that impulse, do you? Like that you have when when bullies start bullying you, that you uh that you try and play along and, and act like it's funny. <laughs> yeah. like, so so maybe that maybe that plays a part of it as well. But anyway, the whole gig was a bit weird like that. And then afterwards, we find out that they'd that the View had done a quote unquote gorilla gig in the toilet during our set as well, All and. Right. Um, and uh, some someone had ripped a urinal off the wall, and they'd left the place in a right state. Yes, and that's in the hometown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and then and, and we didn't think that much more of it. But then this band that that was apparently the gig that ended up getting them signed. Like they had, um, was it James Endicott? Uh, okay, right. I think that was the guy's name. I think he was up there for that, and he uh, they signed they signed to whatever label it was just after that. Um, and then they had a piece in the enemy, like a couple of months later or a few weeks later, and they just basically spent the entire thing slagging us off, <laughs> like it was like. And we sort of or just about that gig, ju- yeah, just saying, oh, they were so up themselves, they were such dickheads, they were, you know, they were <laughs> like, uh, um, and and we we sort of half knew the journalist who had interviewed them, and and he and he said, oh, I'm sorry about it, but uh, it was basically all they talked about. <laughs> <laughs> so and and again, I don't know if that's true, and I, and and to be honest. I'm I'm sure they're all totally nice lads and and we'd get on fine now. But it just it was the only time we ever came close to having a feud with anyone. It was very one sided because they just seemed to fucking hate us and we didn't really have that much of a problem with them. <laughs> Maybe they're a bit like you now looking back and thinking, bloody hell, we're a bit Well, I'm I'm sure they are and I'm and, and and I'm sure they I'm sure it was a really brief thing for them as well, where they just had that one interview where they slagged us off and we ended up seeing it. But I'm sure it wasn't like they were sitting around every day fucking sliding forward with her off. And obviously that links in quite well to the, the story I sent you from last week's podcast by from Forward Russia, uh, which I know you listened to, where they basically said you orchestrated a bunch of kids to throw <laughs> frozen veg at them on stage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's your um, comment on that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a load of shape. Um, right. but or a load of veg whatever you call it uh, but I remember that night I remember like uh, so we were so as, as I was saying before when I was saying like we had, when we went to see Tom's band like 
when we see the partners, it was like a, it was a, it was, it was a big turnaround for us. Like, because Kieran had been going to see them anyway, but I was like, I was the first time I saw him in Edinburgh. I was like, fuck me, that is mental. Like, just the sound that was fucking so loud. And I was like, this is, and I read about them in the enemy, and I was like, this is enemy. So, like, meeting the first enemy band I actually met was Bobby Russia, and they, we were like, fuck, we're spotting them. This is crazy. And uh, so we were like, oh, yes, we'll get one redressing them, and that's going to be official. We're actually going to be playing an official gig. You know what I mean? It was like a big thing. We went in and like, no, like, no, like, you, you can't come in here. This is our dressing room. This is our dressing room. And we were like, sorry, what? They were like, no, you're not coming in. This is our dressing room. We like, oh. so I was fucking like, But I remember I was kind of like, whatever. Um, I'll go and buy a beer downstairs. But I think the word spread, and we used to go with like a, a posse, if you will. Like, like there was like what, like fucking like forty odd people like were with her at all times, and it was like it was just a crazy to know that like we were in a gang on, but they followed were everywhere to every gig, and they'd go on a bus as like every band did back then, and um, uh, and I remember they were on stage and we played, and uh, I remember just that we were like, and I become I was like, cause you come here doing a wee bit of sniffing and a wee bit of beer, and like they were arsehole, like, they, yeah, they were arseholes, and, and then I spread around the group, and everyone was like, oh, fucking arsehole, arseholes, and then the whole venue was like, they're arseholes. But what, but they'd paid, they'd sold it, the gigs, you know what I mean? It was like, so they couldn't have been that much ourselves, but we were like, we went to the toilet. And I, I never, so I never done none of this, but when I say we, I mean all these, the people that were on it, and like the, the Drebra boys, whatever you call them. And then they, they had, uh, we had went to the toilet and somebody kicked off a urinal and then there was, there was like, we'd, we'd done a sing song in the toilet, but I wasn't singing, it was like everyone singing view songs in the toilet um, to kind of, rebel against the fact that they wouldn't let them address them like just while they were on stage to make us feel better I don't know <laughs> but, um, but even then it was like that was another thing the enemy made that a bigger deal than it was and then the, the, I heard that that boy speaking about it on it saying saying uh, was that, I don't know where they were like maybe 14, 15 but I was like that were like fucking 18 you know what I mean 19 but, uh, but I know he was trying to get a wee dig in but that was years ago you know what I mean but it's funny but I mean that was, but that that became a story. Like, why do you hate Father Russia so much? And I was like, but well, but Kieran would always get a bee in his bonnet. He'd go, well, I'll fucking tell you how, because they never let them in a fucking dressing room, but they were treating us like scumbags. And we are no, we treat every band with fucking the greatest respect. We don't let anybody in the dressing room, and we did. We were always like very. Uh, that's that's what we was saying earlier on, Tom. It was always like a, the gig was wasn't even the thing. It was like uh, actually going about and meeting new people and going to this. Uh, and when you went to the yeah. city to uh, play again, you'd be like, oh, there's my boy. There's my boy. Yeah, 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 definitely. Was, and like, and like the the whole dressing room thing as well. Like, we didn't ever give a shit about that either. It was like whoever's supporting, like everybody get in one room and we have a party in you know? it. Yeah, like, that, yeah. Exactly. Every, everybody share the rider. Like, who gives a fuck at the end of the day? Exactly, man. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. I mean, like, uh, that's happened all the places. I mean, there's been a few places that we've played, and there's been like like stories are still on writer. It's like. It was a thing when we, we played Aberdeen like in 2017 and like this this venue was like I sold a gig three nights in a row. And like somebody, one of the, the managers was like, oh, fucking them view boys have been at it again. They've stuffed fucking ten, cans of tenants down the toilet in the girls' bathroom. It's like, well, for one, who the fuck drinks tenants lagging anymore, right? Honestly, like, <laughs> hell, we're into the IPAs, Gary, we're fucking grown up. <laughs> but why would we go into the girls' toilet and stuff it down? And, why, and it's like, but you don't even give tenants on the rider, so... Like, who, how could it be us? Can like, and there's loads of shit goes around. I remember we played with the Cortinas in Glasgow and then their two manager was like, oh, you've, you, you've been nicking the, the Cortinas beer. And I was like, well, look at our fridge. We've got like a fucking crate of it and we've got three litre of vodka and three litre of fucking whiskey there. Why would we go into their room? I was like, have you maybe think outside the box? It's maybe somebody else, no us. I mean, we, we've always been like tarred with that brush of being trouble, trouble making thieves, you know what I mean? But it's bullshit. <laughs> Where where did the fruit bit come? Like where did the veg and fruit and veg come into it? No, it's with, news with... to me. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's news to me. But he was like, "Oh, there's that that's old onions." I'm like, "Paper bags." Like, carrot hit me right into the bowl. Sorry, right into the bowl. You don't have two. You just got the one. And it was like, yeah, and like fucking. I was like, yeah. I was like, honestly, I can't remember. But as I'm saying, that may have been the pot. I mean, I definitely did not. Stand. I've got major respect for buns. I'm not going to stand there and throw fucking carrots at the lead singer, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, that is brilliant. <laughs>